I think it's just the amount of talent that goes around. We're all hustlers. We all want to get out and get the win. We're not going to um, let a team just roll over us. We're not going to, even if we're down, we're going to work to fight back. And each one of us has the will to win. And I think with that uh, comes a lot of strength. Don't look now, but the Tri-State's preeminent volleyball school is extending its legacy of success deep into the winter. Holy Trinity hit the holiday break with an 8-1 and one record and is really just starting to scratch the surface of what this group might become. I think the first couple of games is just getting to know each other. I mean, we didn't have Natalie last year. She's a great addition this year. She's a scorer. She's a driver. She attracts attention and takes some attention off other people. Um, with all the weapons we have, I think we're really dangerous this year, and I think we're able to do great things, but we got to just keep working on that team chemistry and knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses. Unsurprisingly, Mary-Kate Benloggy is leading the charge, scoring nearly 22 points per game. And just before the break, she became the program's second ever 1,000-point career scorer. That just before surpassing Sarah Fedler a game later as the Lady Crusaders' new all-time points queen. <laughs> um, she was a great player, and just to follow in her footsteps and do the things that she once did, it's really special to me. But none of it would be possible without the teammates and the coaches who stand behind me. And I thank them every day for pushing me in practice and always wanting me to be the best athlete that I can be and the best person out in the classrooms and in the community. So I couldn't thank them enough for making me who I am.